The year is 182 CE. The Han Empire is in turmoil, and China is slipping towards chaos. The Emperor's court is paralyzed by corruption, and a great famine has ravaged the North. In the eyes of the people, Emperor Ling has lost the Mandate of Heaven, and with it, the right to rule. Across the land, people band together in opposition, led by the three Talus brothers, Zhang Zhu, Zhang Liang, and Zhang Bao. They don yellow turbans and take up arms. Their aim? To tear down the unjust Han and replace it with their own dynasty of harmony and peace. They are thousands strong with more flocking to their cause by the day. Folks, this is the setting for the new DLC upcoming for Total War Three Kingdoms. This is the Mandate of Heaven DLC, and it's going to be pretty exciting. What it's going to add, and there is a Steam page up, you all can go check this out. In the background, you're going to see battle footage from two battles. Rather than commentate the battle, I'll let you see the battle footage, and I really want to focus on what is new here, so we're going to talk through that. But these two battles came from um, some campaign battles where I was playing as Zheng Bao. I can't show you anything from the campaign yet. However, you can enjoy this footage. One of the coolest things about this, and I'll read it straight off their page so you all get this from them. It says, Total War Three Kingdoms Mandate of Heaven Chapter Pack depicts the events of the Yellow Turban Rebellion, enabling the players to engage in the conflict from either the rebel or loyalist perspectives, introducing a number of new characters and playable faction leaders. This is a lot of characters, folks. The campaign begins in 182 CE, but listen to this. This is the important part. The players can choose to continue well into the Three Kingdoms period, with familiar characters entering the campaign as the timeline progresses. Folks, this is cool. This is really cool. In this DLC, it's going to start before the main campaign, but it will carry through into it, and you're going to see the leaders and the generals and everything you would see in the main one start to come out. This basically gives you a whole fresh new perspective from which to play the game, which is really cool in a historical title, especially given that they kind of compete with Warhammer, right? And Warhammer has its replayability from the factions being so different. To me, this is exciting. This could add a whole new facet to Total War Three Kingdoms in which you can replay different factions from different time periods in order to understand the different challenges or how you want to see the map. I'm really excited about it. This has a lot of potential in my mind. So let's talk about some of the playable factions. There are Han factions, you got Liu Hong, which is Emperor Ling, so you can play as the Emperor. Has unique faction mechanic, which is the Imperial Court. You all can go check out the Steam page, I'm not going to cover that in great detail now, but gives you a new way uh, to play the game. Liu Chong, uh, Liu Ji, and then you have the Yellow Turban Rebellion with a whole bunch of new characters here too. They have unique mechanics, and really it's the three Zhang brothers that are the architects of this Yellow Turban Rebellion, and they get unique missions, and it's really cool because they're gonna be kinda like a support to each other on the campaign map. You all should go read up on it a little bit. There's a cool wiki article out there and other stuff about these guys. Um, definitely worth a read as you get a chance. Um, there's unique resources and effects called Zeal and Fervor, that play in for the Yellow Turban factions, which is going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, um, their victory condition is to take control of the Han Empire, really. Uh, that's where that, that whole thing's going to come in. Um, of course, uh, just like it before, the Yellow Turban reform tree will be different, and they will play different than a normal faction. But yeah, the leaders that you can play from the Yellow Turban faction in this um, earlier one, you're going to get Zheng Zhu, um, who's the renowned healer, and he's known as the General of Heaven. You got Zhang Liang, uh, which is the general of the people, and then Zhang Bao, the general of the land. So you get to play as any of these three brothers, which should be pretty exciting to take the Yellow Turban campaign in its original historical place. It's fun to keep it going in the regular campaign where they had it, but to me, this is going to be a really good time. Um, plus, it says you can also play this new starting time in the campaign as some of the other characters that you were familiar with, like Cao Cao and Liu Bei and Sun Jian and Dong Zhao. Yeah, and Dong Zhao looks younger. 
Hearts, right? Really cool stuff they've done. So, and um, a lot of new campaign features that are going to be in here. They talk about region regionless recruitment, um, so you can recruit troops when in non-hostile territory, even um, if uh, you don't own regions. And then emergent AI factions. So as the time goes on, some of the notable factions may start to pop up. So another cool feature. And then um, there's new battlefield units, 40 new units available, so it's going to add a lot more variety here, and a lot of cool stuff that's going to be going on. There's a list of those units if you want to go check out the Steam page. Now I'm just going to finish this out, we'll talk about the battles that I fought here. Um, like I said, I can't tell you about the campaign or show the campaign right now, but these battles did come from that, so these were organic in that sense. Um, it was pretty cool because the first one was an ambush against Liu Bei, and then Guan Yu and Zhang Fei came to try and avenge him because I executed him to take his weapons. And this was the ensuing battle where they attacked my fort and I was able to defeat them and gain a very early victory for the brothers Zhang. So it was a lot of fun. I'm really excited about this DLC. Like I said, the biggest thing to me is just how this starting time period could change. And honestly, it's something I could see used I wish they could retro this into like Rome. Imagine Rome where you could have, you know, a way to start the campaign in different time periods so that the different factions started with different power. It's just really cool, folks. Very exciting. Again, you can go check out the Steam page. I'll have a link in the description. This comes out on January 16th, 2020, and is a DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms. It's going to be a lot of fun. I will have more early access footage for you in time. You will see when it becomes available and I am very excited to bring it to you. I haven't played a lot of Three Kingdoms recently. It doesn't mean it was ever a bad game. Warhammer's just my main jive, but these are some exciting changes, and like I said, I'm excited. To... Have I said excited enough? Okay, no one paid me to say excited. I'm looking forward to showing you more, and I can't wait to see you there. If you have any questions, hit me up down in the comments. Air of Carthage, signing out for now.